Especially for my country too, you know, as yes. a Peruvian guy, you know, being here in America and being one of the top chefs, so it was really fantastic news. Basically, the idea, the whole concept of Pica was to introduce Peruvian food to America okay. and to the rest of the world. And you can see it's a small kitchen and everything is open. That's you know, right. like, we, we can do a small, like, tapas and it has a little flair of Japanese food in here. Ricardo, how did you uh, start it? When did you arrive in uh, Los Angeles? I, I, about four years ago. Oh, so not that long. Not that long. I used to live in London for 12 years. Okay. So I left my country, I went to London, I worked in there in major kitchens, and mainly I was doing Japanese food. So, really? Yes, and you know, it, not many people know, but Peru have a lot of uh, in Japanese influence too. No, a lot of... we didn't know that. So yeah, it was I... very interesting to, uh, you know, start uh, doing it. Yeah, in, in a, lot, a lot of, like more than 100 years ago, a lot of Japanese, they moved to Peru. To Peru and, and, you know, and then after 100 years, they were influenced the food. So we, we have some Japanese touches on our food. And why did you uh, pick LA? Because of the uh, celebrity? No, I think LA is one of the most difficult cities to, to, to make this business. It's a very hard city, so I choose LA because I, I believe if I will make it in here, it will be more easy to, to make work. it everywhere. Yeah. Self is not worth keeping me, just put it down right now when bow out gracefully. Another type of corn which is boiled, like they say, I like sweet potato. And then the fish is a siva with a rocotto and a chiamarillo and a lemon dressing, all marinated together. Raw or uh, cooked? Raw. 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 Raw, yeah. So fresh. Yeah. So we just eat like a very high quality fish, you know, all super fresh. We put the sauce at last, last minute that we serve it. It's, um, it's like a ceviche um, that you could eat in, uh, in Peru, you know? Ricardo, yeah. you don't know yet. But you're coming back with me to New York. All right. <laughs> Ricardo, you even put the little flowers. Alors, ça, c'est le crab. Yeah. Okay, j'essaye je, je, le crab. Le cangrejo. Le, le tangrejo! Allez, un petit tangrejo! Ça, ça a l'air dingue. Where do you find all those uh, ideas? Because now it's like um, gastronomy, you know, from Peru, like, you know, the. Uh, the uh, Asiatic flavors mixed with uh, like a, li a little uh, Italian uh, touch almost. Yeah. You're totally international Thank in you. your mind. Thank you very much. That, that was the idea, you know, to present Peruvian food and they, they, in, a, in a competitive way, you know. I wanted to bring my, my culture, but to compete with other cuisines. With other cuisines. I love it how she breathes booze in the morning and it's so sexy how she can't remember last night. So you say to me only three dishes, huh? And you're gonna try Peruvian food. 
It's not happening here. I've never said that to a pair of yen Just a moya. Yeah. Oh la la. And do you have a lot of uh, celebrity coming here? Yeah, actually they do. They, uh, you know, Pika is, is a very good celebrity spot. You yeah. know, I saw Cameron Diaz, Danny DeVito, Ashton Kutcher, and then um, yeah, a lot, a lot of them. They, 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 they keep but there, it, it's nice because when they come here, it's kind of like casual, you know, there is not like ton of paparazzi in front of yeah. the restaurant. I like it because it's not a place where they come for the paparazzi or the paparazzi yes. come here. They come, come for the food. For the food, they have a good fun and they leave. It's, it's a fantastic location. It's the hidden spot for them, I guess. And they want to see you.